Hello everyone, today we are here with a comparison video. As you can see in the picture, in this video, we will be comparing the unit and flip multimeters. First, let's do a DC millivolt comparison. There was no deviation for the 60 millivolt measurements. Unit doesn't look bad. Now let's check 540 millivolts on both multimeters. There is an 8 volt price difference, but for now the results are similar. Now I will take the millivolt values closest to the minimum. To make a comparison, I would like to show you both multimeters one by one. It seems like the fluke is worth its price. My favorite multimeter is Unit. It's affordable and has very low deviation. Anyway, let's measure 54 volts. Now we will measure 54, 540 and 900 volts. We will check on the flip first, then on the unit multimeter. It worked on the third try. When the DC voltage value increases, a beep sound may occur. This is a warning. Let's measure 900 volts and then switch to a unit. As the voltage increases, deviation occur on the unit. If you are not doing a precise measurement, it might work, but high deviations are sometimes unacceptable. We have completed the DC voltage comparison. Let's do the AC voltage calibration comparison. First, we will check 60 mV with the fluke. Then, we will look at 5.4 mV and switch to the unit. There will be deviation in AC voltage. The important thing is that they remain at a minimum level. We will check our measurements at 50 Hz. While the fluke shows no deviation at 60 mV, the unit shows a value that's 3 mV lower. Let's check the 5.4 and 54 volts values. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Now we will check 54 volts, 540 volts and 900 volts again in sequence. We will do this on both multimeters and complete the voltage measurements. As you can see there isn't much difference at lower voltage but at measurements like 0.9 kV a difference up to 2 volts can occur. At 900 volts AC a 1 volt deviation occurred. On the fluke, a 1 volt deviation occurred, while on the unit, a 2 volt deviation was observed. I think the unit might blow up. <laughs> we are also complete the AC voltage calibration. Now, we will do resistance measurements. We will check 60 ohms, 5.4 kilo ohms, 54 kilo ohms, 540 kilo ohms. 5.4 mega ohms and 500, not 500, 54 mega ohms. Let's start by checking on the fluke multimeter, then move on the unit. As accepted, the fluke values are smooth and accurate. When measuring at mega ohm levels, we should keep the cables short. Even the slightest moment can result in incorrect readings. Now let's perform the same measurements on the unit. The current inputs consist of two ranges. The upper range is for up to the 3 amps, while the lower range can handle up to 20 amps. We will send 3 amps, so we are connecting the cables to the second range. The values on the fluke multimeter appear to be quite stable. Finally, let's check 9 amps. It's giving a limit error. Let's increase the limit. We will perform the same measurements on the unit multimeter and complete the comparison video. We measure it 1 amps, 2 amps, 5 amps and 9 amps. 
In this video, what I can say is this, the Flicum Ultimator is of course more stable, but it's 8 times more expensive. For this reason, my preference will be for the unit Multimeter. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.